the Philippines, is currently hosting Brigadier General Al Hultgren, Sweden's military advisor of the Department for Armament and Industry at the Ministry of Defense. This significant visit, involving a courtesy call at the Armed Forces of the Philippines headquarters and meetings with Philippine Air Force officials, underscores Sweden's active interest in strengthening defense ties with the Southeast Asian nation. General Hultgren's visit is widely seen as part of Sweden's strategic push to promote its JAS 39 EF Gripen fighter jets to the Philippine Air Force. The Department of National Defense of the Philippines has prioritized the multi role fighter acquisition project, aiming to finalize the procurement process within the next few months. This acquisition is crucial for enhancing the PAF's capabilities, ensuring air superiority, and bolstering national defense. Sweden's Saab, the manufacturer of the Gripen, faces stiff competition from several global defense giants. The United States Lockheed Martin, known for its advanced F-16 and F-35 fighters, is a formidable contender. South Korea's Korea Aerospace Industries, KAI, is pitching its F-A-50, a model already serving in the PAF's fleet. Additionally, India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, is offering its Tejas fighter, and there are potential bids from France's Dassault for the Rafale F-4 and the consortium behind the Eurofighter Typhoon. The JAS-39 EF Gripen is a strong contender due to its cost-effectiveness, advanced avionics, and robust performance. It is designed for versatility, and can perform air defense, interception, and reconnaissance missions. Its suitability for the diverse operational needs of the PAF, along with the comprehensive support and training packages offered by Saab, makes it an attractive option. General Hultgren's visit signifies more than just a sales pitch. It highlights the deepening defense relationship between Sweden and the Philippines. Enhanced cooperation could lead to technology transfers, joint training exercises, and greater interoperability between the two nations' armed forces. This visit follows a trend of increasing defense diplomacy, reflecting the Philippines' strategic efforts to diversify its defense partnerships amid evolving regional security dynamics. As the Philippines advances its multi-role fighter acquisition project, the visit of Brigadier General Al Hultgren from Sweden underscores the importance of this procurement in the broader context of national security and international defense relations. The decision-making process in the coming months will not only determine the future capabilities of the PAF, but also shape the defense landscape in the region. The competition is fierce and the stakes are high. Whether the JAS 39 EF Gripen will emerge victorious remains to be seen, but Sweden's proactive engagement and strong diplomatic overtures could play a crucial role in influencing the final decision. Thanks for joining us as we explored the latest developments in the Philippines' defense strategy and Sweden's strategic visit. If you found this video informative, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your network. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to stay updated on the latest in defense news and international military developments. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the potential acquisition of the JAS-39 EF Gripen by the Philippine Air Force. Drop your comments below and let us know what you think. This is Philippine News. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.